Valkyrie and the Zero that he put into action in this first championship. I mean, the Brazilian fans seem to think so. There's the first pick. Iconic hops in Skylight. Down goes Spoit. And there's another to follow. What? The King breaching into the sight. But there's oh. a Captain Trap to stop him. Kanto down to Shuttle. Astralis trading out, and uh, I'm sorry. Blending. The Diffuser going down. There's a single player left. Crying in a 1v4. What was two minutes left in the round has been reduced to just a couple seconds. Another one of those. You tweet about this after that very first game that the Lurkers are the ones who are setting the tune. They have the numbers advantage, so Astralis can put somebody on that flank watch. Down goes Forrest. Koi gets on the board. Need more though. Dino walking up, but it's Iconic with a second kill in the round. Crying with a possible flank. He sees this, he'll ascend the back stairs. Koi fighting back on the bomb site. These two teams wrestling for control. Astralis in trouble though. They're about to get exposed by the Cavera. As long as he gets in, Shuttle gets the drop on the Spoy. Well, it's whiz past the head of J90. Shuttle good for four kills. He was the lowest rated player at this event. I think it's worth noting out that you said Astralis played this map three times, but they only beat CAG on it. Oh. And surrender the very first pick in that round. Down goes Spiff. Spiff has had an extraordinary event so far. Forrest has lost as well. Window goes open. Spoit prepared upstairs. Astralis' advance is being swatted away. They can't even get in the building without taking a beating. Well, Shuttle's still alive, Parker. Anything can happen. 6-0 and oh for Shuttle, and we will continue to mention his performance. 7-0 oh, maybe? Oh. No. 6-1. and one. Leon Gids reduces Astralis to just J9-0. There's a Maestro Cam staring at him. It's over his shoulder. They have the information. J9-0. Sorry, you made top eight. We did. No main stage, though. Back upstairs, second attempt at this bomb site for Koi. Their only victory coming on open area. Astralis might have assumed that it would be a downstairs take. Spoy, damage through the walls, secure it is crying, and now the Monty's in the sights. Astralis not wasting any time whatsoever. It's just Leon Gids upright. And he what? wins that one too. He dies, oh. but not before dragging J90 down with him, and it's iconic in a 1v3. Half the round to go. What can you accomplish? It's a basement defense, by the way. All the action happening upstairs, and I mean, even the drone is in garage. Who's scouted for information, but with three enemies to find, the crossfire being stepped on the hatch drop, it's not easy. He's gonna take this engagement against the Goyo. With confidence, seeks the 1v1s, wins them. Oh, he doesn't oh. know. But it's free. That's the crowd buff in action, isn't it? <laughs> It's an extra set of eyes playing on cams. Astralis now doubling up on the numbers of Koi. Quadrupling up. Leon Gids isn't so great. Are you kidding me? Starts with- But this is gonna, again, you can see it on Leon Gids positioning. He doesn't know where to attack from. He has one HP diffuse on hand, but you can't go for server now. You can't challenge. So backside hatch drop instead. Take those 2v3s and no shuttle stock inside our servers. There's still one Nitro Cell on the board. Even a tiny bit of that explosive will kill Leon Gids if he goes for the Diffuser plant. Heading down the stairs, oh. J9-0 losing the engagement. Koi have control. Looking for somebody on the flank. Doesn't get it. Iconic dispatch. Shuttle will need to clutch. But he's getting watched from multiple. Still that one last gadget remaining for Leon Gids. 30 seconds. You got to go quickly. Ooh. Iconic might know. No, he doesn't. Trying to give him some information, Leon gets in, that's Diffuser down, surrendered in the bomb site. but they will gang up on Iconic, who far enough away is good enough No, many! Past the point now where the Diffuser needs to be picked up from Kryon. They'll go for the plant, all he needs to do is wait out time, and here comes the run for Iconic, Kryon almost finished! Oh. Is in, there's Iconic on to Spoit, Leon Gids successful in getting the Diffuser down, post plant. They know exactly where Iconic is. Cannot outdo a Leon Gids. Double duty. Objective play and the killing for his team. 
trying to prevent Astralis from moving to map point, but Astralis will clobber the play. They're in damning position by that door. The soft destruction above will keep them busy. J90, the thought of long arming, but you need Spiff to act. Tpex stops him in his tracks. Spiff goes down to Leon. Oh, oh. Kanto has found an opening, and Koi will wipe the floor with Astralis in the ensuing fight. Yep. Eyes in the Goyo fire now. Bombs have all getting opened on up. I think they've already been popped, so Koi might be okay. In a 3v2, one can plant, two can cover. He's just starting to challenge this bomb side plant. The only denial that we see at the moment is the Nitro Cell of Iconic, but... It's ripped. It's ripped and ready to go. Here comes the dance, 10 seconds left. Leon Gids now oh. taking damage from J90, but there's the hatch control, Iconic doing it again. Pressure by destroying the floor above, applying that vertical pressure. That's exactly where DPEG is gonna go. Kanto can stay up there as well. You keep an Ash up there, you keep a Sledge up there, you are gonna lose out on so much of that protection on the bomb site. And you can't retake if you're Astralis. You are in a no. 3v5. Unless some kind Ooh. of magic happens, this round is effectively One. over. Iconic has had his share of heroics before. He'll attempt for a retake, but this is a daunting task. Uh, can very easily collapse on this. They've got two players inside of the lobby, but none are watching. And like that, Forrest gets one pick. Another could be there as well. He'll keep their focus for the 20 seconds, playing shrewdly around the wall, losing out to Leon Gitz. A pivot has to happen from Koi with 15 seconds, or that's the map, leaving Iconic and Shuttle to deal with this advance. Diffuser in the hands of Leon Gids. Shuttle playing this small angle. He needs to pop up. Iconic softened up. Oh. Shuttle will need to clutch. He's flattened to oh. it all. And he gets all. Leon Gids inside a break room. Nade goes down below. Shuttle walks right in. Oh. The engagement favors Astralis. And they pick up two for their troubles. That's huge. Spips more. And it allows somebody like Iconic more freedom to work around the map. J9, no, he finishes off crying. He was one HP in that earlier engagement. First kill for Koi is in the hands of Kanto Ricketti. But uh, funny there to see the Warden get flashed out. But on go those smart glasses. Now Spoit to get up into the action. J9, no, get a foothold somewhere. Oh, there's Iconic on the nook. Down below inside of Customs. Yeah, you know what? Crying's a pretty good nook, but it's E1D to go as well. But the fire is lingering. Oh. They're boxed out at the moment. They can't get in. Crying finished off by Spiff. Now it's Kanto Ricketti as well. Koi just dying one by one. The first drone is being guided in. Oh. Just as Forrest was, trying to bamboozle Spoit, but not being successful. J90 finds one for Astralis. So even though the first pick goes to Koi, it's traded back right away. Night was that a Nitro Cell that went off and did no damage to Shuttle, who oh. now collects one on to Cryon. Spiff was trying to scare them off. He walks in. Down goes Spoit. Usually he's a good head on his shoulders. He doesn't have anything on his shoulders now. Deepak will... No! He gets shot at the last second. The Deepak, he's taking a bit of damage. That's really it. The rest of it for Spoit, self-inflicted. Leon gets kill number one. There you go. And looking for more, gets it on the fadeaway. First kill for Astralis comes in from Forrest. He dies to cry, and there's the Vigil coming into play. As good as it can get. Kanto goes down to a nade. Spiv has blown this round open. But he needs information. That's the bigger issue. One minute to go. This is really going to test the metal of Spiff. There's too many ways to clear. Clean. They need more from him as well. Leon Gids picks up one kill. Kanto on the board with the kill onto Iconic. There go those Candelas, and both teams will fire back. Cryon looking for the secure to get it. Oh my He's God. last man standing. Spiff on seven kills. They'll hunt down the Warden from above. Diffuser in the hands of J90. Out goes a nade. Not dislodging him, but the Tinnitus will ring in Cryon's ears. Astralis have a stranglehold on this map at the moment. Cryon's made it back to the bomb site. Oh! His name on the tip of our tongue through most of these first two maps. Disappointing. Oh, but they know. He's living up to it now. They know exactly where he is. Kanto worried, but Koi got this round in the bag. Unless J90 can do something. He's 8 and 1, by the way. Doing it for the stats at this point. 
Currently playing by beepers. Down he goes. Metal and oh. oh. Gain from shuttle now. Back inside of customs. Shooting what certainly feels like more than 10 drones on the battlefield at this point. Where's the diffuser, Kento? <laughs> like, it's not being planted yet. There we go. Kanto, of course, the hardened support, who's often planting that diffuser, Nick. You have to forgive him for a second here. Shuttle knows exactly where they are. Diffuser goes down, and there are far too many guns trained. All three rounds so far, they've been in a 5v3. They haven't thrown it yet. Oh, Koi got to slow things down, though, and play the numbers advantage. They're they close to bomb site. They only have one drone left. Excluding the Rotero drones. Now they have none left. All this fighting is going to have to happen without advanced intel. Astralis reduced to just two. Now to oh. one. The timeout puts Iconic into a 1v5. Astralis certainly feeling like they're in a... Nice. Deepak knows how dire this one is as well. He's been here before. On cam right now by Metal. Top Metal. And down the main stairs he goes. Astralis just need to wait a minute. 60 seconds for them to sit on series point. Then the climb for Koi becomes two rounds in a row to go to overtime. Deepak taking his time. He has the diffuser. They know exactly where he is. And Astralis are going to send. That's a big pick for Koi looking to secure overtime. They know they have the down. Smith and Shuttle to run back to the bomb site. It's Vents. You can hear the telltale sign of the LMG going off. Koi will get ever closer. But you have to be very wary of this time. They're boxed out because of those Kiba barrier shuttle engages. It's Spiff to clutch out the newest player from oh. Astralis. And he's putting it. Cry and scene spotted. Damage being done. Astralis knows that both players from Koi are in the same spot. Shuttle attempting the diffuser. Second time for Astralis. Is it a charm? Yes, it is. And into the post play, these two teams will scramble. Spoit on the jump out. He misses the opportunity. An easy read from Astralis. Kryon's fortunes decided to rise when he went on to this vigil. Oh, he doesn't have information on the off destruction happening. Forrest is almost out of those skeleton key ammo. Yeah, I don't think they can plan this scenario. They're going to make this choice right now. He drops, they hear him. I'd imagine so. Iconic fighting shadows. Sound of the diffuser will go down. Forrest attempting it. Iconic has the correct read on one of the last two players. Oh. They're not moving in. He sees the shoulder of one. It's a post plant. Caught oh. by the Oryx. 1v1. Leon Gids to 